Hello fellow teachers. So my name is Matt Brooks and I created a script and a workflow that allows teachers to automatically convert their Google Classroom form quizzes into a quiz inside of Canvas. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you need to do is open up whichever Google form quiz that you want to export. And then here's the key. You've got to go to this little three dot ellipsis in the upper right, and you're going to go to script editor. Okay. This is going to make a new code project for you. Always title it something. So I'll call this uh, exporter, right? You can call it whatever you want. doesn't matter. And next we're going to delete out the existing code in there, just an empty function. And we're going to paste in my code, okay? So I'll have a link to this code in the description. And we just want to scroll down to the bottom here where it says raw paste data. Click in there and hit control A on your keyboard to select all of it. And then hit control C to copy or just right click and copy it. Okay? So now that you've got my code copied, we can go back to our Google Form quiz here in that script editor, right? Sorry, in this page that we already opened from the script editor and paste it in. So control V or right click and paste. All right, so there's all my code in there and you need to click the little save icon or file save all. Um, there it goes. Make sure that little asterisk, red asterisk goes away indicating that it actually is saved and now you can run it. Okay, so the main function that we have to run is right here called convert active form to two, form two T, <laughs> I can't talk, but just click up here and choose that first function, convert active form to two, form two text, blah, it's hard to say, and then just hit the run button, right, or you can go run, run function and choose it there, but if you do choose it and then run, you're going to see it ask for authorization, Okay, so review permissions. This should work even on non-HEB accounts. It doesn't even matter, but we'll go here. We're going to allow it to do some things. Let's allow it. There we go. And then it ran the function. Okay, so this is tied into your Google Drive. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive on this account, and you saw it just change right there. That's because this script just spit out a new Google document, and a quiz text file, it's appended import to respond us. See that? Okay, so there's your text file. That's the one that you need. I give you the Google document also just so that you can double check your quiz for spelling errors because Word will automatically check for spelling errors. I'm good there. So we don't need this file. I just have it spit out so you can check that. All right, so this text file is what we want. We need to download that. So let's right click, download it. Now we have a text file of all of our questions and uh, answers from the quiz. All right, so next, we are going to use a software that is called Respondus. And this is going to convert our text file into a format that we can upload right into Canvas and get our quiz. So this software is not free. Um, but they do offer a free 30-day trial, which I've been using for this whole process. So here it is on the right. Um, I will show you now how to use Respondus to take the text file in. So let's just uh, relaunch Respondus from the beginning. It does make you get a code from your email to activate it. I'm going to continue my 30-day trial. And we're going to go to this personality. Make sure that your current personality on the start here is set to IMSQTI because that's the format we're going to export it into. All right, next we need to import our questions from that text file. So click that button and then we're going to make sure the type of file is plain text because that's what I exported it out as. 
So when we click browse and we go to our downloads folder, there it is, there's our text file. Click open. All right, and we want to create a new document and this is a, a respondus document. So I'll just call this uh, quiz converter, right? Because we're gonna use this same file to convert in the future. And we don't need to check anything else. We'll just hit preview and we should see everything right here. Uh, this is this warning you won't get. That's just because my quiz has a duplicate in it. So it should be fine there. And you hit finish. File saves. Hit OK. All right. So now in Respondus, we got all of our questions and answers. Let's jump over to the preview and publish tab. And I usually like to just do a quick preview and make sure that the quiz simulator here actually has correct answers down here for each of the questions. Looks good. Close that out. All right, and last step is to go to save QTI file here in Respondus and make sure it's set to percentages and that it's making a zip file with content packaging 113 and save. All right, so I'm gonna name this. So save that out. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. There it is. Even though it looks like it's a, an error message, that's that means it did its job. Okay, so now we have a zip file on our desktop called the name of our respondus file. And that's what we're gonna upload into Canvas. So now we just jump into Canvas and I'll go, see this is my game design course. So I'm gonna click in here, whoops. So right at the home page of your course, there's a button for import existing content. We'll click that. And under content type, you want to choose the last type, QTI zip file. And we're going to choose that file we just exported from Respondus. Right there. Your icon might look different than mine because I have another program called WinRAR that gave it that icon. Okay, so there we go. And we can choose to import this into an existing question bank or make a new one. So I'll create a new question bank and um, we'll just call this uh, from respondus or something like that. It doesn't matter. Okay, so here's something important that I, I had trouble with in the beginning. Do not check right here where it says uh, import assessment content as new quizzes. Don't do that because for some reason the format of QTI doesn't work that way. So create a new one again. It erased what I did, so from Respondus, leave that unchecked, un don't check those, and then hit import. All right? You'll see it queue up here. It usually is pretty fast because it's a small file, and it says completed. Once it says completed, then you can just jump over to your quizzes, and there it is. <laughs> I just realized that the name is a little different, so you can change that pretty easily just by making sure that the zip file you upload has the correct name of the quiz that you want. Okay. Um, lastly, if you want to convert this quiz into the new quiz format, which I prefer, you can see this icon's a little different, green and not. The newer quiz format's kind of easier to use and better to look at. So there's a little option here on the quiz we just brought in, we click that, we can click migrate, and then that's going to actually create it into the new quiz format. And that's it. You've now successfully converted your entire Google Form quiz into a Canvas quiz without having to manually type in every single question and answer. All right. I know that that might be a little bit daunting of a tutorial for some of you, so feel free to contact me with any questions uh, and be sure to check the description on this video for a link to the code. Uh, I'll also put a link to Respondus so you can get right to that. Have a great weekend.